Hey guys, it's me, Risa. Welcome to my kitchen again. I hope you're doing great. I hope that you're staying on track and you're checking out all my videos. Remember, all my ingredients and directions are under each video. There's a tiny little arrow. You can click on it, but hopefully you're watching me too, sharing my channel on all your social media forums, okay? And my group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa for extra support and on Instagram, WW Risa's Tips. All right, I got that out of the way. So today I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite, favorite things to eat, and that is waffles. The great thing about waffles is you can have them for breakfast, for brunch, for lunch, as an afternoon snack, even for dinner, and after a workout or for dessert. I just made some yesterday for my mom and brother and they absolutely love them and they're versatile. But today I'm gonna to teach you how to make my blueberry lemon ones, okay? And for those of you that follow WW, it's one smart point each. You'll get six of the waffles, uh, depending on what kind of waffle iron you use. And I'm using, it's a little hot, it's my, oh, you can see the steam, my mini Dash machine. And um, I don't work for Dash, but I got it on Amazon and they are amazing. So you plug it in and then you're just gonna spray uh, the bottom and the top, just spray it on the bottom and the top, I already did, and let it get nice and hot, okay? Let it get nice and hot. All right, so what are you gonna need? I'm gonna go through all the ingredients with you, all right? So first I have an extra large egg. Just get a medium sized bowl and you're just gonna whisk it really easy. I love recipes that are just one bowl and easy. All my recipes are, I promise. So a half a cup of whatever milk you wanna use, almond milk, 1% skim milk, um, it really doesn't matter, it's up to you. And I have one tablespoon of monk sugar. Okay, you wanna use regular sugar, it's up to you, but I love the Lakanto monk sugar, and um, I find that there is no aftertaste, so one tablespoon. And if you like them sweeter, um, you know, you are adding the blueberries, so it's up to you if you want it a little bit sweeter, add a little bit more. Or you can use sugar-free syrup, all right? Or honey, all right? <laughs> okay, so now we gotta flavor this up and I'm gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon or so, or half a, yeah, a quarter of a teaspoon of some nice vanilla. I'm gonna use about a quarter, just, actually I would say about an eighth of a teaspoon of some cinnamon because I love cinnamon. Of course, a little bit of salt to bring up the flavor. And I put in, all right, so I just take a lemon and I take my little zester and I put in about, and you just make a little bit, like you just take it and you'll see that it's just I'm bringing it up. Um, so about a quarter of a teaspoon of some lemon zest and lemon juice. And if you want a little bit more, you can squeeze in more. Just, I usually do it over a bowl, all right? So lemon zest, lemon juice. If you don't have, you can use bottled. You can even add a little bit of orange, but it is a lemon blueberry, hello. So we're just gonna mix that in, whisk, whisk, whisk. And a half a cup of I have self-raising flour. And if you don't have self-raising flour, you can use all-purpose flour and just add in a teaspoon of baking powder, okay? And if you wanna substitute it, for those of you that are gluten-free, you can use oatmeal um, flour, you can use almond flour, all right? Why not? You can do what you like. So I'm just gonna add in the flour sticking here. All right, that's it. I'm going to move all this out of the way. And then I'm just going to whisk this up. The last thing we're going to do is the blueberries. Now I had some old blueberries 
And if you have frozen blueberries, it doesn't matter. Don't throw out your blueberries. You can always keep them in your freezer. All right. And even if they get soft, it doesn't matter because if you're baking with them, hello, they're going to cook anyways, right? So this is where you get your workout. Use a nice whisk. And it's almost like a pancake batter. Okay. And you can see I didn't use any oil or fat in this recipe. And you get a nice, I'll just show you a nice batter like that okay and just make sure you get along the sides because you don't you want to make sure you get all the flour and now we're just going to dump in so I have about I had a half a cup and then I saw there was more so I put in about three quarters of a cup of blueberries and just mix it in okay and again that's it all right so far so good, right? Nice and easy, I'm telling you, it's so easy. So what I like to do is I like to move all this away and I use, I'm just looking for it. Of course I moved it away, about a quarter cups worth and I add that, okay, to my grill. And it's going to take about three minutes or so each. So you just put the lid on, don't touch it, just let it get nice and brown, all right? So after you've made them, you can eat them right away, serve them right away, or if you're making a lot, which I like to do, um, and you're serving it right away, what I do is I just preheat my oven and put them on a cookie sheet so they stay hot and crispy. All right, so that's another tip. You know I'm full of tips. The other thing you can do is if you're not eating them all and you're making a bunch, I mean, this will make six. And if you're only eating a couple, uh, you can store them in a container in your fridge or you can freeze them. And then when you take them out, pop them in your toaster, your toaster oven, your oven, all right, and they will crisp right up again, okay? And they are so good. So this is gonna cook and I'm just gonna show you because of course you know that I made a bunch and I wanna show you that there are six because I haven't even eaten any. Look at these, all right? And um, some might be a bit thicker, but I'm gonna just show you um, all the nice blueberries. My last one was a bit thicker because I wanted to use up all the batter. So while that's cooking, I'm going to also show you that you can have and serve this with your favorite sugar-free whipped cream, or you can make your own whipped cream. I also have chocolate. I love different flavors. Um, I also love my Cool Whip, so you can add that. Um, you can add sugar-free or regular syrup. It's up to you, of course. You know I don't tell you guys what to do. Okay, sometimes I do. Um, I also love jam, different flavored jams you can add. You could add peanut butter. Do you see all this uh, steam coming from it? So it's versatile. If you have uh, swerve icing sugar, you can sprinkle that on, all right? And uh, honestly, I love, you know, a versatile kind of recipe that if you want to add some chocolate chips, you want to add some coconut, you want to add, you know, be, you know, spontaneous and create different things. I always say it's just a base, right? It's just a base. So you can decide if there's anything else you want to add. But if you're on WW, make sure you account for the smart points, all right? and look at your your ingredients, your nutritional information of what you're adding so it might be a little bit more. But for all programs, one smart point and super duper delicious. Let's see. Okay, this one's nice and ready. I'm gonna just take out, I'll take out a small plate just to show you that it only took a few minutes. All right, and I'll be adding more so Here's the one that I just made, all right? And I just, 
you know, it looks like a small machine, but people, it's a good size. And if you have frozen yogurt, that would be delicious, okay? You could add um, regular yogurt and add um, PB2 to it, all right? Or you can add the sugar-free puddings and do that. You could use uh, the sugar-free pie fillings. Oh my God, it is endless. So I hope you love this recipe. I wish you were here. Oh my God, it just smells unbelievable throughout the whole house, not just the kitchen, okay? And again, you can use it for a breakfast, brunch, dinner, lunch, um, anything, a snack, a dessert, okay? And even your kids, your grandchildren will love them. All right, guys, love you guys. And don't forget to comment, share my channel, and um, let me know what you think. And if you change it up, comment below. I love your comments and your questions. Keep them coming. Take care.